cafe anyway hello there it's mike how are you today all right okay it's mike's daddy podcast it's an absolute joy to be with you here at cafe anyway somewhere in podcastro valley the last place on earth in the land of ameritopica mike's Daily Podcast. I am here on FF episode 2861. This is so fun doing a podcast and having it being listened to by someone. Hopefully, we'll see. And it's a kind of a run doing this show. You do this here and do the thing under the sun. No, not under the sun because you'd melt these days. Mike's Daily Podcast. Reading. Costco, the Costco magazine has come out with Mike's podcasters Daily. that shop at Costco. Podcast. And one guy said yeah. he got into podcasting 20 years ago. Podcasting has been around for 20 years. He got started right in the beginning because he said he was too nerdy for doing ham radio. I don't know if you have any friends that do ham radio. That's way above my mindset. You have to be very technically minded because you're basically creating a small radio station that can be heard around the world if people tune into the right frequency, that kind of thing, which I never understood. Podcasting, I understood. I recorded it. I put it up in the internet land and people can hear it. So, And several other millions and millions of people have come up with the, the same understanding of it as well. But it, unless you're talking about gaming or you got something that really grabs a, a, a huge chunk of people, somehow Joe Rogan got popular, I'm sure it was from him being on news radio. Yes, he was on news radio. He played the engineer for the radio station on news radio back when he had hair. And then, of course, he had Fear Factor. And a lot of that got pretty popular. A lot of people watched that. I know it had good ratings. And then somehow he parlayed that into, did he do the man show? You know, he took over for Adam Carolla and Jimmy Kimmel after they left. And here's today's podcast picture. On Comedy Central. And I don't know if he parlayed that into podcasting because, you know, Adam Carolla was a very successful podcaster in the beginning. When I say in the beginning, I mean about 15 years ago. So then somehow... You've got Joe Rogan grabbing people's attention because he puts a spotlight on conspiracy theories that a lot of people believe in, and he's just gotten big. So it's an interesting article. It's a Costco article, so it's not more than six pages. It's got a lot of pictures, so it's easy to read for people like me. The late great Basil the Boxer. I actually took him to Costco a couple of times. He had to wait in the car, obviously. But I see people sneak dogs into Costco's now. I just wish I knew what they knew back then. The late great Basil the Boxer. But the podcast picture is of my lovely lady friend and I over in this cool area. There's a brewing company called Headlands Brewing Company that's now opened. And I want to say it's in West Bray. But it's a nice little beer garden area. We were there. Oh, recently And you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com If you want to see what I look like Oh, shoot I was going to do a live Facebook live thing Next one, maybe, we'll see To view that, if I eventually do that It's going to be on facebook.com Slash mikesdailypodcast So if you look up the Mike's Daily Podcast handle That's where you, On the socials As the idiot people say That's where you'll be able to find it. Okay, so here's something interesting that you may not have known. Oh, yes. I took him to many fun places. I don't know if we ever went to Westbury together. I think we did. Westbury. It's near Berkeley. It's basically Berkeley. North Berkeley, I think they call it. Okay, so there's this data that was recently published that included 462 cities and 52 counties in California. And right where I live, in Podcastro Valley, that's where Cafe Anyway is, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth in the land of Ameritopica. The city of Hayward, right next to Podcastro Valley, had the highest average city employee wage in California. 
Hayward. Hayward does. I drive through Hayward every single day to get down to Fremont for my job. Whoa. Mike's Matthewsman Park. I know. I know it's a little bit of a Matthewsman Park. The front panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all times. This podcast has its up and downs. With its uh, surprising parts The parts that surprise you Well here we go Hayward And I drive through Hayward down Mission And there are some disgusting parts of Hayward There are things that I've seen in my drive That I will never be able to unsee And you know whenever you hear that expression You can never unsee that Well technically you can Your brain There's this other famous saying that was In a Barbra Streisand song What's too painful to remember We simply choose to forget We do that Where we forget stuff Even if it's the thing You never thought you'd unsee Oh yes you can remember it Sometimes if something triggers that To come back But for the most part You forget it But there are all kinds of things You can remember The good things too Things Bizarre stuff And I'll tell you this Being 55 The older you get the more weird stuff bubbles up to the surface And you're like, oh my gosh I completely forgot about that And you'll remember the most bizarre Like a, a day, a walk that you took Back in like 98 Somewhere that, that will suddenly pop into your head It's crazy See, that's why I have faith in Biden He's gonna remember stuff Even though it doesn't look like it even though everybody's throwing everything against him Which is interesting because after the debate Even if Biden had killed the debate If he had done as well as he did in 2020 The Republicans would still have found Every possible nitpicky little thing to talk about Some of the stuff I've heard them say And I, I implore you to do this for me When you hear someone on the right wing side A conservative talk show host Talk about Biden in a negative way Think to yourself, can that same exact thing be flipped around and applied to Trump? And a lot of times when you do that, you go, oh my gosh, it, it can. So this is why I throw my hands up when it comes to politics. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Pod Castro Valley, the last place on earth in the land of Ameritopica. Anyway. Kind of hot out here. I got my spray bottle. I'm ready to go spray my face. And the spray bottle was... Just in the fridge So that helps Employee wages So the highest average employee wages Were the highest in Hayward Of all things This from State Controller Malai M. Cohen Releasing the 2023 self-reported payrolls data For cities and counties On the Government Compensation in California website So Coming in right after Hayward was Atherton. Mike's out of left field recordings. Recording everything. Captures actions that will never again be repeated. <laughs> okay, this is out of left field. Right now I'm looking at a picture outside a cafe anyway. I don't know how this picture suddenly appeared in front of me, but it's of my ex-wife's kids. Not my kids. It were kids that she had after me After she got remarried They're the cutest kids They're vacationing in Huntsville Or they were recently But the picture is of the two kids She has a boy and a girl And they're eating spaghetti <laughs> uh, That's the kind of relationship I have with my ex-wife Where she'll send me pictures Of her kids that are eating spaghetti And it is all over the place Just like that old picture That your daddy's daddy remembers That they used to have the big poster With the spaghetti on top of the baby's head And, he, and he's crying I remember that poster Okay What? What? Okay Coming in at number two And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program With Mike Matthews Thank you, that's right Let's get back on track Atherton Very rich area Very It's over there just north of Silicon Valley You're going up the peninsula As you head towards the end of the peninsula Would be San Francisco But down along the way As you go from Silicon Valley up You hit Atherton Then there's Pleasant Hill That's not on the peninsula That's inland That's going to be hot 
probably right at the moment you're listening to this. It's a hot, hot area. It's near Concord. It's near Walnut Creek and it's hot. Did I mention it's hot? And then the last on the list, so this would be the fourth, is Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. Gimme, 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 gimme living in Beverly Hills. That's actually not anywhere near the Bay Area. That's down in Los Angeles. As you had, uh, we call that. I've heard it called West LA near Santa Monica. The counties with the highest average employee wages were Alameda County. That's the county that's got Hayward and Podcaster Valley. Contra Costa County, that's where uh, Pleasant Hill, Concord, Walnut Creek live. Napa, Monterey, Napa, of course, your wine regions. Monterey, which is down where Carmel is that Clint Eastwood used to be the mayor of. Monterey down there uh, south of Santa Cruz, but along that Monterey Bay, beautiful area. And then finally on the list is Ventura, where I used to live. And I have not been back there for 15 years. I need to go back. I I grew up there, basically. Well, I I spent a big chunk of my life there. All kinds of great memories. Was on the radio there, as you've heard when I do the Let's Go Back with Matthews. Mr. President, are you suggesting President Biden's using cocaine? I don't know what he's using, but that was not a... He was higher than a kite. And, And by the way, it was the worst... It was the worst address I've ever seen, say to the nation... I'll tell you, State of the Union, that's not State of the Union because he doesn't, he doesn't represent us properly. That I can tell you. Okay. And I will say this. I love how during the debate, Trump kept saying, I didn't want to do this. I wanted to stay on my golf course and keep playing golf because I'm a really good golfer. Did I mention I'm a good golfer? I'm a really good golfer. I didn't want to do this. But he's doing so badly with the economy and he's driving this country into the ground. I had to come out. And do it. I go, okay. We all believe that, wink, wink. But that's what he... (laughs) I thought that was an interesting logic for him wanting to be president. Is he could have done anything else. It wasn't his ego. It wasn't any... It was just... uh, Yeah. But here's the thing. It wasn't cocaine that fueled Biden. I'm going to tell you this right now from what I've observed. Yes, he did really good during the State of the Union. Yes, he did really badly during the debate. What's the difference? Debate had no audience. This, despite all the things that... The Fascinating Material Project. FM Project. This is fascinating material, because if you think about it, it was the conservatives, the Republicans, that were saying, hey, Trump can't do a debate without an audience. That's what fuels him. Look how well he does in front of his big rallies. Well, it ended up biting Biden in the butt because he didn't have anybody there that was there keeping him on point and cheering for him or whatever. Nothing. I think that's part of it. That that could have helped him. Of course, the, being old and 81, as if that was a surprise, how did everybody suddenly just remember that? Oh, you know what? That's the thing oh, about Biden. Article. Cool, 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 cool. You see great fat article. Article. I forgot about that part. He's old. Why didn't anybody tell me this? Let's see. There was a interesting thing someone said. Oh, Keen is coming to the Greek Theater at UC Berkeley on September 4th to celebrate their 20th anniversary of the album that put them on the map, Hopes and Fears. Everything's different and nothing stays the same. I walked along a lonely path. I don't know if this is the rest of the song. I want to interview them. I wrote the people that are promoting this, that that they're going to be in concert. Keen. And no response. Wah. Let's see. Is this the commentary? Okay. A guy named Ed Morrissey said this. He said, Thursday night's presidential debate made one thing very clear. (laughs) Biden needed an audience. That's what Mike says anyway. Democrats have lied for four years about Joe Biden's capacity for office, and the mainstream media has abetted this fraud the entire time, says Ed Morrissey. As, as if Ed knows how all media works, 
Does anybody know who Ed Morrissey is? If you've happened to stumble upon hotair.com, maybe you know who he is. I don't know how he has become such an expert. But then I hear the arguments all the time. Well, you could say, you know, even if you're not an expert in how the COVID uh, vaccine was made, you know, all the stuff you say about how COVID vaccines are going to kill you and all that, you can still say that because, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. We love you, Mike. As uneducated as it is. Well... Ed goes on to say, as recently as last week, the media seized on the White House spin over legitimate videos. He's meaning the week before the debate. On White House spin over legitimate videos of Biden as cheap fakes. So these were videos that showed Biden in a bad light. Didn't Merrick Garland get impeached because he didn't want to release the audio (laughs) with that guy, her, the boots with the fur? His name was her. And he uh, had all this audio. We read the interview. We read what he said. As anything written down can be interpreted any way anybody wants it. So Republicans were released the audio. Let's hear it. Let's actually hear how Biden sounded. And they were, nope, nope, can't do it. So what do the Republicans do? They impeach Merrick Garland. What does Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez want to do? She wants to impeach the Supreme Court after giving uh, uh, Trump the uh, pass. Well, sort of a pass. A president no! doesn't, doesn't, can't be convicted over official acts. It's the unofficial acts that he can be convicted on. And she's like, let's, uh, so let's impeach the Supreme Court for saying that. But Biden, so they were saying that he was doing cheap fakes, not to be confused with deep fakes, That's a real thing. That's like someone taking my voice and making it sound like the uh, that I'm pro kombucha. That I'm pro kombucha. How could I possibly like kombucha? That stuff is awful. No, it's it's pretty good. I like it. If you want that alcoholic bite, but don't want to be drunk and want to drink something that's a good probiotic for you, do the kombucha. But That's a deep fake or taking some uh, video or a picture and faking it in such a way that it looks convincing that someone is actually doing something that they really didn't do. We used to call that Photoshopping. But instead, they didn't want to say it was a deep fake because it wasn't. It was a cheap fake. It sounds like deep fake, but isn't. Attempting to gaslight Americans into disbelieving their own eyes, said Ed Morrissey. Democrats in the administration, as well as the House and Senate, have insisted all along that Biden in private was sharp, engaged, and entirely competent, not just now, but another four years. I don't know if that's true or not. If that's if Biden is sharp behind closed doors, here's the thing. What does the average American that is working their butt off, that is walking into the grocery store to see how expensive everything is, who is doing that commute or maybe working from home, into the incredible universe. who is sick of being on Zoom or whatever they do and dealing with the kids that are screaming and spoiled and entitled. What are they going to do when they hear, oh, behind closed doors, he's perfectly fine? Are they going to believe that? After the debate showed the emperor without any clothes, says Ed Morrissey, And I love Morrissey, by the way. Panic on the streets of London. Hairdresser on fire all around of something square. CNN and MSNBC began to report on, quote, a rising panic among Democrats over the upcoming presidential election. But they're panicking about all of their elections now because they're... They're cutting corners, corner. Corner. The Cutting Corners Corner! If you, here's the way to cut corners so you don't buy an actual swimming pool because they're really expensive and a lot of maintaining. The maintenance is crazy and the chlorine costs a lot and to have the guy clean the pool. Here's the way to cut corners with that. Just keep a water bottle, a spray bottle in your fridge. Spray yourself when you're hot. It's very refreshing. Just as good as jumping into a pool and you won't get swimmer's ear. You won't get swimmer's ear. 
But they're panicking all about their elections now because their fraud on American voters just got exposed on national TV. What he means there is Democrats are panicking over other people running because if Biden is a loser, then they could lose, which is not true because Trump was a loser in 2020 and a lot of Republicans won. That's why the Republican rationale that, oh, this was fixed, this was a rigged election. No. Then how did all these other Republicans win and the president, the, the, the president at that time lost? Your guy lost, but the other, how, why, would, why, why wouldn't you have hey, every... Kids. It's me. Do re me the clown. Why wouldn't you have do re me the clown, the the hacker extraordinaire, go and make it so that all Republicans lost? Why wouldn't you do that? I don't know. The media will panic too and attempt to. And he, once again, he says the media, like all media, is anti-Trump. Which is, if you go through it piece by piece, bit by bit, you will see that is untrue. The media will panic too and attempt to foist more gaslighting to cover their complicity in this fraud. I really don't like how so often the word gaslight is used because it really, that can mean anything. I know it, they, why don't they just say to confuse, to, oh, here's the word, to obfuscate, because that one, That they don't want to use because they know that is too tightly connected to Trump. Obfuscating. Everything he was doing during the debate was obfuscating. And Biden did it too. But still, it's the thing politicians love to do is obfuscate. Gaslighting, that's getting overused. They need to stop. So the media will panic to an attempt to foist more gaslighting to cover their complicity in the fraud. Voters in America need to make all of them pay in November is what Ed says. I don't entirely agree with him, but there is that. And speaking of what happened with the Supreme Court, let's see, it says that pundits describe the executive power Supreme Court case as a win for Donald Trump. This from Carol Platt Lebow. In one sense, it is special prosecutor Jack Smith won't get the case against him, uh, against Trump to trial before the election. But the opinion wasn't written for current circumstances. It was written for the ages. It was written for beyond this moment. The court held that presidents have absolute immunity for acts within their core constitutional powers. They have presumptive immunity... The court held that presidents have absolute immunity for acts within the core of their constitutional powers. The official acts. They have presumptive immunity from prosecution for all official acts. And no immunity for unofficial acts. So what's happening is the lawyers down at the lower court levels that are still trying to go after Trump. They're trying to show that what he did that was illegal the January 6th stuff and all that, that was an unofficial ginormous. act. An unofficial, ginormous unofficial act, not an official act. So for them to prove it, that's going to be on them. And then they're really going to earn the bucks, the crazy amount of money that people throw at them. These are sensible distinctions, says Carol platt Levow. Future presidents will be free to fulfill their duties without fear of political prosecution, but without free reign to engage in lawless personal conduct. And then she goes on about Jack Smith and Trump, and, and she does a pro-Trump thing, because that's her thing, is she does everything pro-Trump and anti-Gavin Newsom, anti-Biden, and it goes on and on, and it drives me crazy. And thank you for listening to this little rant involving politics and finally the last thing so yeah keen is coming to the greek theater dada the band dada i'm trying to i want to interview them as well they sent me an email about that to mike's daily podcast at gmail.com and i think they are going to be where are they going to be local they'll be in west hollywood oh mill valley at the sweetwater music hall They're going to be there July 20th. They'll be in West Hollywood August 8th. And New York, Colorado, Tennessee. They were a cool band. I think they had a song called... uh, Was it... uh, It's April... uh, Earth Day? Something like... They had a funny song about Earth Day, as I recall. But, okay. Back to the wages real quick. 
what was that one thing that they were um, mentioning that, oh, the church, they were at the Fillmore. They might be on the, at, the, at the Fillmore this week. You remember the church under the Milky Way tonight? And I can't find that email again. Oh, well. Look who's here. Hi, Mac. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? I'm at my horse daily. Sorry, I can't find that email. <laughs> and to disgruntled field player, tell you what. What? I think Biden is a walking cadaver, and it's like weekend at Bernie's, and y'all can vote for a cadaver if you want, but I'd rather have, I'd rather vote for a, a, a round, delicious orange, because it's full of vitamin C. And it's good for you and delicious, and I hate fiddles. That's why you're the disgruntled fiddle player. I really hate fiddles. But the, you know what? I just, that's my life, is hating them. And I'm the disgruntled fiddle player. You are! Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make delicious root beer. Has to my now. Hey, bro! Mmm. Oh, let me try that and not fake like I'm drinking. Mmm. Wow. What's in that? Plants. Okay. <laughs> that would be like a root. A root is there, is in there. So maybe that's why you said plants. Yeah, the roots come from plants. Oh boy. Drink it right now. <clears throat> uh huh. Yes, yeah, so did you. Oh, Google Podcasts is gone. Did anyone notice that? Nobody noticed that at all. I just thought I would point that out. I don't know how you listen to this podcast. I would sure love to find out how you listen to this podcast. Tell me how, and tell me what you think about everything else. Here's the number to call me at. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. I was talking about Ventura earlier. Oh, I so miss it. And I was hearing from a guy that I used to work with who is visiting Santa Barbara. And I worked at a couple of radio stations there, as well as Ventura, which you can hear on the segment that I do. Let's go back with Matthews. In fact, there is a let's go, uh, the cassette cubbyhole at mikesdailypodcast.com, which you can get to by clicking on the home button. We'll get you to some of the old radio shows that I used to uh, do, uh, the radio stations I used to be at in Ventura and Santa Barbara. And that's in the cassette cubby hole. Look for the Let's Go Bat Back with Matthews segment. But he was telling me about how he was listening to KJEE, which is still there, despite the fact that eons ago it was first launched. It's an alternative rock station, and he loves that kind of music. And so I was telling him about how, hey, there was a guy that bought the station, that started the station, that his initials were J-E-E. -E. That's why the call letters were picked for that. And he didn't know what format to go with. So he played a different format every week for a couple of weeks. And the one he settled on was alternative rock because people called in the most for that. And that was around the early 90s when grunge and alternative rock and No Doubt and all those bands were getting really big. And he, I think I bored him to death with that explanation. But back to that thing about employees and the and the highest average city employee wage in California, the city employee, the actual employee with the highest total wages in California was a police officer for the city of Santa Monica. Let's go down past the breakers. Watch the world die. Not Santa Barbara, but Santa Monica. While the top 20 highest paid county employees work in... What profession? Healthcare. That's right. That's what I got from Controller Malia, Malia M. Cohen from the California State Controller's Office. What do you think about all that? You can contact me. Let's go to the mainframe and hear from A-Frame on how to do all that. Oh, here's Rocky the cat saying goodbye to y'all. And we'll talk soon with, hopefully, we'll hear from Adam Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley on the next show. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.